My name is Barbara Mayer, M-A-I-E-R. I'm from Anchorage, Alaska, and I'm here in Zagreb, Croatia, at the uh, Mystica Organica. I am with the International Fellowship Committee that goes all over the globe sharing the Urantia book and its teachings with people. I'm really passionate about trying to um, explain to our larger fellowship the effect that these trips have. That the more we go out and do outreach, the more people get exposed to the Urantia book. They get exposed to a fifth epical revelation, and that's my job, is to just expose people and then let the book speak for itself. The message is clear, and uh, that's, that's what I like to take away, that more people have been exposed. We're here in the country of Nigeria at an international book fair sharing the Urantia book. We are spreading the good news of the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man. This is exactly what the Urantia book tells us and teaches us as readers to do. We need to realize that our American dollars go so far in Africa that money that we're used to spending to fill up our gas tank feeds families. It buys many, many books. We just can't allow ourselves to miss this awesome opportunity. Um, whenever I've, I've had money in my life, I've always been quick to pass it to my family and friends and share it. For me, the Urantia book is the greatest treasure in the world. So obviously, I'm going to want to share this treasure, you know, and, and the best way I can do that as an artist is to share it through my music. One, two, one, two, three, seven. In the present right now, there is a, a trend. Some are calling this the awakening. But whatever it is, is more and more and more, especially young people, who are no longer concerned with outworn religions. And I think there is a void that only the Urantia book can fill in the next 50 to 100 years. We have to light up the one load. Cause the whole we are one blood. And we come from the same mud. Children of the same God. It's a revelation. And I think that the more people make this revelation, come to the awareness of the masses, a lot more people will stop feeling as though they are, as though they don't belong. I think the only thing that is on this planet right now that can fill that gap and give the people that need, fulfill that need, is the Urantia Books Revelation. My name is Alexander Helot. I'm from Cologne in Germany. Hello. From this trip, Okay, at first I have to say it is my first time in Budapest. It is a nice city to make a conference, um, but it is always the same. It doesn't depend on which city it is. Uh, it is about meeting all those great people, meeting all those Urantia book readers. Um, I feel very challenged in Germany. Yeah, It's hard to think about what's, what's, what's possible to do for the revelation. Um, yeah, I feel challenged. We, the Urantia Young Adult International Committee, um, are working together with the Yayas. I think perhaps in the future it will even be possible to join. I like about what's happening now that there are more and more young people gathering. And for us young people, of course, it is very special to meet other young people because it, it happens during 10 minutes and you have another brother or sister in your heart and you... you you miss them when you're back home. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Derek. Hello. new people, people who have stopped going to conferences. If we could have a goal, for instance, say, would it be possible for us to have 50 people under 50, 50 readers under 50? People are out there. In theory, if we worked hard enough, we could probably have 100. And, uh, and that's 100 people under 50 isn't a lot compared to 1990 when they probably had over 500 people under 50 in uh, you know, Colorado. But it's a lot better than 
it's a lot better than the 15 or 20 that we'll probably have if we don't make the effort to sort of draw those people who are kind of kind of drifting away from the, the inner circle who aren't kind of staying active and staying in the loop. Uh, hopefully those details can be worked out. I, uh, I wish I could be more involved like I, like I used to be. I think you, there are very few people out there that are very sort of really making this a, an important part of their lives, really treating it with that level of importance that it, that it deserves if you believe it, that it is as important as it says it is. You know, we're both some of the few harvesters in this very small little project, you know, some of the few people who are really dedicating, our, dedicating ourselves to it of our generation. So it feels awesome. It feels, and also that thing about, I think it's important to become like really close friends. You know, I think it's important to develop that and not just, uh, it takes, it, it's really great to be able to have like days to converse with each other, you know, and, and share memories together because that's, that really is what builds strong friendships, I think, you know. And, so thanks for coming, man.